Good morning, or whatever time of day it is where you're painting for me. It is morning. It is bright and early. Today we are going to work on kind of a misty forest scene. And the first thing I'm going to do is tape the edges of my paper ah, to my work surface. I do this because I like to have a nice white border around the edge. Um, so part of the tape is on the paper and part of the tape is on my work surface. And I am using washi tape. You could use painter's tape, artist's tape. Um, even if you just have like regular scotch tape, if you take it and run it over, like if you have a, on a cotton pair of pants or fleecy, something that you can pull some lint off of, um, just pull a piece of tape and rub it over your clothing really quickly and that'll pick up some lint and help it be a little bit less sticky but still it will protect your border for you. So I'm just taping all four sides down and I'm working on a piece of watercolor paper that's about eight and a half by five and a half. So if you have a larger tablet you can cut it in half. Or you can just work bigger. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is mix my paint and I need to get, I'm gonna make kind of a greenish, bluish, kind of a foresty green color. So I'm just gonna put some paint and some water in here and I want a very, very light wash right now. So I'll start with blue because I know that my color is gonna be blue. So I'm going to get some blue in there. And I'm going to add some green. And it's kind of an aqua, but that's not really the forest green that I'm going for. So I might need to make it a little more green. And then I'm thinking I might put just a, the tiniest bit of black into it, possibly. We'll see. I want it really just super watered down. Put a little more blue in there. All right, so it's kind of a smoky blue. It's kind of a misty mountain blue, maybe. Um, I'm gonna get, oh, I just want the, like the tiniest bit of black. So I'm just putting a dot of black and then I'm gonna rinse my brush because I don't want it to be too black. But I do wanna bring in just a little bit of darkness to it. <clears throat> All right, this is looking good. And you can always mix in the lid of your paints. That is super a-okay. All right, I'm gonna kinda just go in here and brush just water on my paper kind of all over. Just brushing some water. You don't have to completely cover the page, you just kind of want to get the paper a little bit wet. If you do completely cover the page, that's fine. All right. So I'm gonna grab some of this that I've mixed up and I am just gonna kind of start to loosely dab it here and there throughout. You can kind of tap. And then anywhere you notice that this is not watery, just kind of tap some water on top of it. You want to leave some white spaces, that's fine. Um, it's going to just look kind of messy right now. That's what we want. And then, 
We're gonna go pick up this same color. <clears throat> Pardon me. And we're gonna make the tiniest tree shapes in the background. And mine is like a foresty forest. So I'm gonna make shapes of like winter trees. And as opposed to doing like a branch and some, or a, a trunk and some branches, I like to just make them with dots. And these are gonna be really blurry. That's what we want, that's totally fine. <laughs> and I might be able up here at the top where it's a little dry, I might be able to make one um, that we can see the detail on a little bit more, but it's gonna be super tiny. So this is how I like to make my trees, just a row of dots. And then I can make some dots coming out to the side. And this doesn't have to be a recognizable tree at this point, because this is the one that is, it's way far in the background. It's coming out of the fog. It's fine. All right, and we'll do maybe one more here. You can put your trees wherever you feel like it. I'm keeping them kind of in the upper one third, these particular trees. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, I got a frog in my throat this morning. All right. <clears throat> so now we've kind of got a little bit of a background layer. It doesn't look like much right now, I'll admit. But we're going to put a little more paint in here because we want our next layer to be a little more concentrated. <clears throat> so I'm adding blue. You could add more green, more black. Um, I'm just overall making it a little bit darker. I'll add a little bit of all the colors. So I'll add some blue, some green. And maybe, again, just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of black. Because that black can really make it dark really, really quickly. All right. So now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do another row of trees that are a little bit lower. So I'll start, and these can be blurry or they can be, um, ooh, that's really fun. So I'm kind of just making a tree shape out of dots. And yes, I know it's a vague tree shape and that's totally fine. But you can see how this paint is just a tiny bit darker than our layer before. And I'm just kind of putting in some shapes that look like they might be trees. We can go to the edge of the paper. You can paint right over that tape if you want to. And then you can see how this one is a wonky triangle. I just go right up top and just put some little dots on top and that gives it that nice, um, that pointy top. Let's see, what else do we wanna do here? I'm gonna make one coming down from this way. So this'll be the rough triangle of my tree and I'm just going to make little tiny dots maybe I'll put another one and maybe this tree needs to be a little more a little more prominent in our forest This is looking pretty interesting. I'm gonna go back in here and we wanna make it seem like there is some mist, but also like it kind of gets a little bit darker. So I'm kind of just gonna make like part of a valley here. But I'm gonna try to leave a little bit of white space there in the middle. I'm just 
just kind of adding some interest. Making it very, very dreamy. All right, and then where it's all wet right here, so I'm just gonna dab some color in. dry. So I've got a little hair dryer here. You can dry with, you can fan it with a piece of paper. Um, you can use a hair dryer. I'm going to use this uh, little hair dryer and always on low. And I want to try and get it good and dry. Alright, so I know it doesn't look like much right now, but just wait. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay, now I'm going to add, I'm going to get a little tiny bit more black and take it into here. So we're just kind of slowly adding more and more black to make it a little bit darker. Then we're going to come in front of this layer and do some more trees. So... Well, first, okay, first let's brush in some of this color. Just kind of here and there. So you can come down here like this. And we'll brush in maybe a little bit here. And I still want to leave a little bit of white peeking through so it looks nice and misty. That maybe wasn't enough black. I'm going to put a tiny bit more in. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting a little bit of a different color. That's what we want. And I'm kind of just trying to lightly blend this. On a piece of artwork where we do a lot of blending of the background, I try not to press my brush down super duper hard because that can make the paper tear up a little bit. So I'm just trying to be light and use the tippy tippy tip of this brush. So I've kind of made a V, you can see. I'm just trying to make this very cloudy and misty feeling down here. So I've kind of made this V. I'm gonna go back in here and get some paint. And I'm just, just gonna use this tip of my brush to make a little tree here. And it can kind of blend in when it gets down to the bottom. So I want my tippy top of my tree, and then I'll come out and make the body of the tree. And there, there are some special brushes that you can use, like the, um, the fan brushes that are made for making trees. You could use those too. But for these tutorials, I mostly just try to use the brush that is like the one that comes with the paint set. But you could always get a little fancier if you want to. Play around, let your mind have a good time. All right, so then I'm gonna put another one here, but it's gonna be like, this tree is gonna kinda go off the page a little over there. What I'm doing is kind of progressively getting a little bit bigger and bigger with these trees. So that's what I'm trying to do. 
so that the trees in the foreground at the front of our painting are the biggest trees. That gives us a better, a more realistic perspective. And we can have like a tiny tree here. And the reason I like to make them out of dots instead of lines is it's just personal preference. So if you would prefer to do something different, you can. I'm going to add some more green. There we go. That's a little more foresty. So I'm going to add a little more green in here. Brighten it up a little bit. And then I'll come in with some of that to kind of just blend it down. Some nice green mist. <laughs> All right. And then let's see, what do we want to do here? Maybe we have a tiny tree here. I'm going to try to keep some of the white or some of the background showing through in these trees because that kind of makes us feel like there is some light. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to darken it up a little bit more with some blue. tip of my brush again because I don't want um, don't want this paper to pill too much so I'm going to come down and just dab some of this color through here you can tell where your paper isn't very wet because your paint doesn't do this fun thing developing a little scene and it's kind of cloudy and weird back there I'm looking at the top here and I want this top part to be more melty so I'm gonna go up and just put make it really really a lot more melty I'm just kind of there we go that looks more misty cloudy right all right, so let's bust out the hair dryer again one more time. And I'm on my low setting. So one of the problems with using a hairdryer is it makes your paint run around the paper. 
Um, but we're going to cover this area up with a new color. So I think it's going to be all right. Okay. So I'm going to darken this up a little bit by adding a little bit more blue. And then we'll come in and we'll start adding some even bigger trees. So let's see. This tree can start right here and it's going to kind of be like this tall. So I'm kind of making a little dotted triangle and that's how big that tree is going to be. And then I'm just going to kind of fill it in with dots. And again, if you'd like to make your tree a different way, go right ahead. This is just kind of the way that I like to make trees. So I have my kind of my blueprint down and now I can fill in the middle part and these dots can touch I just definitely want some of the background showing through and it's a little murky down here at the bottom but that's gonna be okay always come back in and put a little more color on here once you've got your you've kind of told the paint this is where I want you to go for this tree um, and then you can come put a little more paint on it but the key to this is definitely that delicate touch just with the tip of that brush all right so there's one tree do another one and I'm gonna do it similar in size it doesn't have to be exactly the same size it can just be similar and I think this one's gonna be coming from maybe right here and down it's gonna be a nice fat tree so that's gonna be my next tree area I'm just gonna go right in with all of my dots. So now that I've kind of filled in that triangle, I can go in and start shaping it up a little more. I can add some little dots coming off to the side, like these little branchy pieces. Just really let your mind have a good time hanging out making these little trees out of dots and you can see we can still see through it so that is exactly what we want we want to be able to see just a little bit of that background another one here in the middle and we'll have it reaching up into 
this upper layer and come down to about here. So this is going to be the shape of this tree. <clears throat> And then I like to bring my little points up so my tree has a really pointy top. All right. And here I come with the big dots in the center of the tree. Remembering that I'm gonna leave some of that background showing through. I don't wanna completely paint this like a triangle. That is not the kind of trees I am making in this particular painting. Triangle trees are pretty fun though. Um, can do a lot of interesting overlapping things with them. Maybe we'll do that in another activity. And if you're working on any trees that you just really, you're not happy with the way they're turning out, just keep at it because what you can do later is add a tree right on top of it and cover up the part that you don't like. And then you don't have to look at it anymore, which is nice. There's that little tree. And I think that's going to be it for those trees. I think that's enough trees. I'm going to go ahead and blow them dry. Noticing a spot up here in this tree that I don't love. I'm gonna go back and fix it. The paint all kind of stuck in one place. So I'm gonna go back, I'm getting it wet, and then I'm gonna lift a little bit of that paint off. So I don't, this tree needed to be a little bit lighter. Okay, that's better. All right, so we are getting close to where this might be um, our last layer of trees. We'll see. I think I'm going to go ahead and scratch in some of this darker color here toward the bottom. And kind of, it's kind of okay if it touches the bottom of those trees and blurs them up a little bit. All right, so I'm coming through here with some more water. Kind of making some landscape. And then I will blow this part dry.
good there. So then for my last layer of trees, which are gonna be a little bit bigger, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add more water because I'm running low on paint. So we'll mix up a little bit more, but then we're really gonna put a lot of the darker colors in here. So we're gonna put black and that's gonna bring it really into that dark, dark forest green. So I've got my black and I'm gonna add some blue just to get it nice and dark. I don't want this paint to get down into that little section. There we go. And then I'll add some green. And just get it mixed really nicely. So this is kind of thicker. It's not as watery as the paint we used earlier. All right, so this is gonna be our main, just big trees. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna kind of start here. So this tree. This tree's gonna be kind of big. And I'm making these branches kind of swoopy for some reason. That's just what my brain decided to do. So that is how these branches are gonna be. So I'm sort of sketching in the shape with these little dots. And then I can go in and fill in a little bit more. Oh, my tree's getting lopsided. I'm gonna have to even it out. My hand does not like going <laughs> right to left. It prefers left to right, definitely. So I've hit kind of the bottom edge. So this is all gonna get filled in in the middle because my tree has hit its widest part. And there's a big, huge, beautiful, glorious tree. Just need some little branchy tips coming out here from the side and then I think I will be happy with it. All right, there's that tree. It's a little bit, it's a little lopsided. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. I feel like the more I try to fix this stuff, the more I just, I need to stop. Yet here I am doing it. Okay, so this one's got 
it's kind of a little bit light through here I think because there's a lot of layers of paint so I'm just adding some more until I'm happy with the way it looks and then I'm gonna give it some more color right here right at the top here we go so there's our one big giant tree <clears throat> And I can't really decide. Do I want another tree here? Or am I done? What do we think? It makes a little bit more paint. Because I think I do want another tree there. But I am going to need a little more paint. I'm gonna start right here. That's where it's gonna be. And this tree's gonna come down all the way. Maybe going to be a little taller and skinnier of a tree than its neighbor, but that's okay. All of our trees are their own special little trees. They don't all have to be exactly the same. I like a good variety. I hope you're having as much fun as I am just making little trees out of dots. I really enjoy it. So I'm just trying to fill in these little spaces that I can see. And I want this top of this tree to be pretty sharp, so I went up a little tiny bit there. Do I like that tree? Am I done? I don't know if we're done with you, tree. I'm gonna maybe gonna make it have some pointier little branches. And my theory is that by doing this with little dots, I have less of very funky straight lines. I tend to get, my straight lines tend to all look the same. And so when I do dots, it's just a little, it's a little more random, if that makes sense. There we go. So then we also, um, as a bonus here, if you happen to have white paint, even if you have white acrylic paint or, um, you know, just a regular old white paint that isn't watercolor gouache or acrylic, um, we can put a little bit of white on here. So I'm gonna let this dry a moment, grab some white paint. So 
So I have a little bit of white paint here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start reviving this white paint and then it's turning a little bit green because my water's green, but that's fine. That's gonna work. So this is gouache that I put into a little pan and then I let it dry. So now I've got to kind of reconstitute it. And if you've never used gouache before, it works sort of like watercolor, but it's thick. All right. Dry these trees. stop right here if you want to. This can be the end of your painting, but I think I'm going to put a little bit of white in mine because I want it to have like a little misty snowy feel. So I'm going to water down some of this white and put it in my lid. Get it really nice and watery. And then I'm going to throw some little speckles onto my paper. And I'm going to take, so I have a pencil nearby, so I'm going to take this pencil. I'm going to get my brush nice and loaded. And I'm just going to do this. Kind of speckle it with that white and we'll see what happens. And you do have to be careful. The speckles will get on anything that's nearby um, but the paint I'm using is washable so I am I'm cool with that all right so I think I'm gonna call it I think I'm gonna stop working um, I could keep working, but I think I'm going to overdo it if I do that. So it's time to peel this tape off. So I think we're dry enough. We'll see if this looks, it doesn't look exactly like how I planned it to look, but I do like the way it looks. Oh, there is my finished product. I'm gonna grab, I have a pen over here. I'm gonna grab to sign it with. Some people like to sign in watercolor. I guess I'm just gonna use a pencil. That's what's nearby. Some people like to sign in watercolor. You can do that if you'd like. But I think I'm just, I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm, I'm really liking my peaceful little forest. I hope that you like yours too.